Civilization is a vulnerable thing, a whim of circumstance. At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire city wiped from the map. Those left behind there did not stand a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus. Finally, mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. The fall happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. The few who survived now live in small enclaves, the only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. A city with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. This game used to be more fun. <laughs> you used to be younger. And dumber. What matters is, you're still just as fast. Because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. pilgrim. Yeah, I know, I know. Get up here. I want to show you something.
Thanks. It's good to see you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. But don't get all mushy on me now. Come, I want to show you something. Where are we going? You'll see. It's incredible. What's incredible? Most pilgrims don't last two, three years on the road. How you've been kicking around for what? Four years now? And you're still alive. So are you. I know, but I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, right. Seriously, I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new beat on Jane? Nah, trail went cold after New Paris. Which route did you take? Through Baines or Gary? Eh, Baines. What a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. <laughs> Look at that. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Uh, no way. Oh, look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here, too. This will do. You remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? Oh yeah, the one that had that saying, uh... Remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Come on, we're almost there. This is it. Come on. Nice crib. Damn it, locked. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. Take anything we could use. Yeah, sure. Empty. Party. Uh, but by then the GRE would have long since lost control of the virus.
No, nothing here. No, nothing in here. Why? I'm starting to worry about you. And you know our saying. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. I wonder how the wine tasted back then. Who do you voodoo? Hmm. Sounds familiar. And that's what they called art? Nada. Zip. Heartbreaking. There's nothing like a party to celebrate the end of the world. Uh, they died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky too. <sighs> I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Okay. they had each other.
she was classy. Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. Ace, come here. Check this out. Sit down, buddy. For you. A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it, by the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Yeah, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. I tracked down that guy for you. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? Huh, when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we were celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly he knows something about Waltz. Villador. So I'm that close, huh? Hey, I, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary? It's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. <sighs> and where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. Maybe. But when something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected, then suddenly they're knocking on our doors. All right. But you owe me one. Uh, not just one. So what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Told him he'd hear from you soon. What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was gonna say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. 
I'll drink to that. And that Waltz? What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that Waltz guy, or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz, at dawn, the guy's waiting for you.
Almost there. Oh, it's already dark. It's time to hide somewhere for the night. It won't get any better than this. Oh! <laughs> 
Someone moved them not long ago. It's been moved. Okay, let's give it a try. This is it, the broadcast station.
But, like, now? No, when we're <laughs> old. No, 80s. We need supplies. Everything's ready. It's so quiet. Where is everyone? Maybe they're all dead. <laughs> You're stupid. Let's go. Now. Shh. It'll be all right. Wait here. Nothing good will come of this. Have you brought 12346? We were supposed to take the patients back to the city. Don't worry. They'll let us go soon. Edie, I'm scared. I'm, scared. I'm here with you. You're safe with me. separate us, this is how we'll always find each other. Time to contact the guy Spike was talking about. This is Aiden. I'm on frequency 140.200 megahertz. Hello? Aiden? It, yes. I was supposed to get in touch with you. Thought you'd change your mind. Why are you looking for Waltz, Pilgrim? To find someone else. Her name is Mia. Fifteen years ago, we were in a hospital together and... I know who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. Now, I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivor's camp. I... Can you help me or not? Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. Where and when? Entrance to the metro tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there. I take it you're not doing this for free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know. Over and out. Wait. I have to at least know if she's alive. 
she's alive. I'm going to the rendezvous. I'll see you later, Rita. Oh. 
Hello? It's Aiden. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear. That means you must be close. I swam across the lake. So, you've almost reached the tunnels. There's an entrance. The only one the GRE left when they sealed off the city. I'm coming from the other side. Hurry up! What's wrong?
I'm entering the tunnels. Hey, can you hear me? I'll meet you soon. Here I come. Anybody there? Oh, shit. This doesn't look good. Forbid me. A volatile. Lots of those fuckers in the sewers. You must get to the light quickly. Where's Mia? Oh, later. We have to move. <laughs> Resist it. It'll pass. <laughs> Just stay strong. Here you are. We've been looking for you. Didn't have it on him. Let's go! I don't have the key. I swear! <laughs> I destroyed it. I did this on my own. I'm both be able to get it to hurt it or open up. Where is it?
I don't know what you're talking about. Let him go. You're gonna make us let him go, punk? I'd sure like to see you do that. Bring it! I <laughs> Come on, Ted! Who was that? There's no time. In my pocket. I left you something. What is this? A GRE access key. The peacekeepers, they found it. We cannot lose it. You were gonna tell me what happened to my sister. Where's Mia? You will go to Fisheye. There, ask for a girl named the Wan. Give that to her. With it and her help, you'll learn. You will learn everything. Understand? Protect it. If Waltz gets his hands on it, the whole city, everyone will die. Waltz? Is Waltz here? He is. Oh, they're coming. You hear that? Renegades, run! We'll go together. Take this! 
Alright, let's go. What the fuck? There's our lost lamb! And he's not alone! We can fix that. Slaughter him! Get the fuck out! Zaheer, are you there? Do you have my key? It's Walt. We have to run. But I'm looking for him. You we... idiot. He'll kill you if he finds you. Dylan! Fuck. Get to the vent. This way. You first. Wait. Waltz can't get the GRE key, remember? What? Let me out! I... Fish eye. The one. Go! There's the traitor! Uh, hi, Dylan. <laughs> hey, fellas. <laughs> uh. 
Let him go. Why did you betray me? This key is not yours. You can't... Where is it? In here. This is the end. I'm sorry. <sighs> Getting misty? Not really. You're only dying. Before Zero Hour, my grandfather raised horses. Beautiful rare breeds. I love them dearly. One day his most beloved horse fell off the slope and broke his leg. I thought Grandpa would help him, but he just pulled out his pistol and put it in my hand. He told me, you're doing it for him. Then he pressed my finger on the trigger. I screamed. I wanted my grandfather to die. But years later, I realized what must be done must be done. You leave me no choice, my friend. <laughs> Someone's here. Get in the bed! Get it! Who the fuck is this? He doesn't have a biomarker. Oh, what? I... Oh, fuck. He's fucking turning! Kill him! Quick! No! Tag him! Let what the fucker die! No, 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 no,
Wouldn't it be faster to finish him all on the show? <laughs> Leave him the fuck alone! <laughs> Here come! He's about to turn! What's his problem? That it was a sneezy he's freezer. an outsider! He must be killed! He's with me! You got that? Didn't I tell you not to go anywhere without me, eh? Didn't I fucking tell you? Who the fuck are you? They'll tell you about. Shh, shh, not now. <laughs> Yana! Get the inhibitor! What the fuck is it? Back to Larry, will you? Bring him here! He's moving. Hack on. Kill him, hack on. Kill him before I do it for you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax. Breathe. <laughs> Seems he hasn't turned. Seems? Hack on, I don't want that here. You've come back to us. Blink if you understand. Ah. My head. <sighs> You were on the verge of turning, but UV light and inhibitors pulled you back. Uh, the bat helped too, of course. You're alive. Let's keep it that way. Guy almost kills us all and you're chatting him up? Girls, relax. They're frightened. You almost destroyed their workshop. We need to move out. Can you walk? But I... I don't understand. Where are we going? To a safe place. I gotta get to the fisheye. The fisheye? Without the biomarker, you won't get near it. What the hell is that? Biomarker. Monitors the disease's progression in the dark. That's your ticket into the city. Without it... Uh... Stepping out of the light is sort of a lottery. You don't know when you'll turn. You need a biomarker. And I know where to find one. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. Everything's under control. It'll be fine, hey? You're weak. Take a minute. Drink. Seriously? What next? Maybe we should draw him a bath. Sounds pretty cozy to me, ladies. Uh, maybe next time. Get banned, hat on. <laughs> she adores me. <sighs> Why are you helping me? Let's get to know each other and find out. You go first. Where'd you get all those? None of your business. You're careful. Good. You live longer. You a real pilgrim? Or did you steal that badge? I'm a... I was, I was a pilgrim. An hour to dusk. I'm serious, Hakon. He's not staying the night here. Here. Your weapon and your radio. Not even a pilgrim could get by without that. Come on. Let's go. It's a nice place. Don't get comfortable. We don't need another roommate, especially one that could rob us while sleeping. Not every pilgrim is a criminal, you know. Uh-huh. You have a nice workshop here. Assembling UV lamps, huh? Yeah. You shouldn't be here. Hakan's risking our asses. Can't you see the door? I'm sorry. I guess I scared you, huh? Felt better after I hit you. We're even. Yana. Aiden, what is this place? Our home. Our workshop. Our whole world, you might say. You're nicer than she is. 
Hey, back off. Sarah doesn't trust anyone but me. Besides, I'm a better fighter than she is, so I can afford to be more open. Sarah didn't like you, so I'm sorry, but you and I ain't gonna be friends. <laughs> Not bad. Where's the fish eye? The canteen is there, in the center. Past the chemical dumps. Uh, I need to get there. Too bad. Only way to go is through the tunnel. They protect it like a portal to the fucking Valhalla. Near impossible to get through. It's my specialty. Where's the tunnel? <laughs> Not so fast, cowboy. You won't get far without a biomarker. You are a threat to everyone. And you've already seen how people in Villador react to a threat. Well, can you help me? You seem to be familiar with the city. I've lived in this city since before the world got fucked up. I could help you, but... You need a biomarker. You won't get far without it. Where are you from? Pretty far, I guess. About 2,000 kilometers. Oh, shit. How the heck did you not get infected? That's easy. Didn't let him bite me. Here it's different. Here we're all infected. Heard of Haran. They isolated Villador too. They built walls. They locked us in. Turned out to be the thing that saved us. And how do you get a biomarker? Uh, you can't get them. Unless you know the right people. And I do. Let's go. By the way, I'm Hakon. I'm Aiden. Nice to meet you, Aiden. Welcome to paradise. Oh, you do know the moves. I was in the military. Special unit? For seven years. I even liked it, except when I didn't. For insubordination, got blacklisted and they zeroed my bank account. Ended up driving a cab. Ouch. Now the mighty have fallen. <laughs> Fuck you. At least I got to know my way around the city. Oh, come on. <sighs> <sighs> You're too weak. Without an inhibitor, you won't last. Didn't I smash everything in sight last time you gave it to me? That was just the first time. But then it gets better. If you survive, of course. Catch! You're telling me I could have died? If I hadn't given it to you, you would have died anyway. So, why are you helping me? I know people are generally scared of you guys. But one pilgrim saved my life. I was a pilgrim. Now I'm infected. It'll be much harder to travel. <laughs> then welcome to your new beginning, my friend. Check out this place. They're like treasure chests. Usually got good stuff in them. Check it out. I'll wait. People hide a lot of things in places like this. In case someone can't make it back to a shelter before dark. Uh. 
What's that? Crystals. Someone must have stashed them here. They formed after the chemicals were dumped on us. Some believe they delay infection. Folk superstition. So you don't collect them? Sure I do. Superstitious people pay a fortune for them. And I am always happy to take someone's cash. There's one specific chest I'm after. Come on, let me show you. They treat people like that too. Watch out for them. They guard the tunnel you want to go through. I'll proceed with caution. Good. Though it might not help. The PK are a pain. Seriously riling up the bazaar folks. The bazaar is a box of dynamite one spark away from blowing up. Are we going? You uh, wanted to show me something? Sure. Follow me. Surprises. It's getting dark. They are about to wake up. Quickly, open the chest. In return, we'll get your biomarker. Fuck. Thieves. Wait. No, 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 leave it. Mess up that lock and everything's fucked anyway. Enough for a biomarker? Where'd you get that? I've been all over this city more than most, but even I haven't seen working GRE equipment for years. I'm looking for someone. Someone important. And uh, this should help me find her. But where did you get it? It's better for you not to know. Believe me. If you say so. Fuck me. We took too long. Plan B. Run like hell. Aiden! You there? I'm okay. I'm okay, I think. We need to find the UV lamp. The bazaar. We can make it. Follow me. Quick! Go 
the light. Can you hear that? Almost there. A bit further. Open up! Hello! Stand in the light. Oh, hack on. Uh... Oh, come on! Open up now! Hack on, a howler's coming. Oh, fuck. Biomarkers. There's no time. We've got the howler on our asses. Biomarkers? Did you hear? Behind us! I said biomarkers. Here. And his? He's with me. I have to see his biomarker. Let us just inside the door at least. I need to see his biomarker. How about some electronics, huh? Fucker! Open up! Oh. Oh. <laughs> you piece of... Oh. We need to get to Killian! There's no time! Run, Aiden! <laughs> Quick! They almost got us! Don't look back! Run! Faster! There's more and more of them, Aiden! Be safe there. Friends here, huh? Killian! Keep them busy! Killian! Fuck! Killian! Come on! Killian! You trip over my body this morning and get killed! Out, we're done. Trouble loves company. Back on, get us in there! I'm trying. Killian, I know you're there. Is that all of them? I think so. Help me. Come on, help me! Oh, God. 
damn it, Gillian. Should have waited a while longer. Almost did. Didn't want to clean your guts off my doorstep in the morning. They've left, so can you. Oh, come on, stop being such a bastard already. Look at this. Where did you... That's rare. Invite us in, or it'll get even more rare. And who is this? I'm a pilgrim. Haven't been here long, have you? How did you get into town? I'll tell you everything, just let us in. I waited for a pilgrim once. He was supposed to... Ah, oh, forget it, doesn't matter anymore. What are you up to, hack on her? I gave him an inhibitor. He survived. Are you mad? He needs a biomarker. Don't have one. Bullshit. Seriously. <sighs> Motherfucker. The hospital, then. I was hoping to avoid it. Always looking for an easy way, huh, Hakon? I just need a UV lamp. I'll come back for you. Hold tight. Hakon, why are you helping him, huh? Remember when we used to help people? Me? Sure. But I doubt you do. Stay here and rest by the lamp. Don't listen to that dumbass. Idiot. We used to help people, remember? Sure, I remember, you moron. A fucking cabbie and a mother of mercy all in one. But you can cook. Everyone around you said that's what you should do, cook. Life would have been easy. 